Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of January. This is Miri, Miss Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, we're going to take a look here at the energies around you at this time. Whether it be love, whether it be general, we're just going to take the energies as they come and whatever comes out, comes out. So this is intended for, uh, it's labeled for January, but I say it's for whenever you see this. Um, I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless, even though they're dated. So if you'd like to go back and watch previous readings, please do that. Uh, your playlists are listed below in the description box, so you can check that out. And there's tons of stuff down there, uh, so feel free to take a look. How to book a personal reading, decks on musing, social media. I do readings on Instagram. So tons of stuff down there. So Sagittarius, I hope everybody's doing well. It's still... Well, I know by the time I put this out, it may not be your birthday season anymore. It is the, well, it's the 16th right now. So, um, and it may be out before your birthday uh, season's done. So, let's see what we have here. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. So, this is a Zodiac uh, Oracle. Get a sign, element, planet. Okay, well, I guess that's your card. <laughs> And we have Gemini. So you could have Gemini um, heavily in your chart. Some of you, it may be your moon sign. Um, or you could have a Gemini around you or somebody who has Gemini heavily um, in their chart. So we'll see how that plays out. So what I'm going to do here with this oracle is get um, an opening message for you. And then we'll get another card for your energy. And then we'll clarify that with do a whole spread with the tarot there and then at the end we'll get some closing messages from that deck all right so let's see what's going on for sagittarius at this time spirit please thank you so much what is the opening message for sagittarius at this time please spirit thank you so much how many right i'm just going to take one so we got something here not for you which is six so six is about to me, sixes are always about healing, balancing energy, like moving forward in a more healing, balancing place. But something is not for you. So there may be something that uh, is not for you that uh, if you move away from this energy, you may be going into a better place, into a more healing, balancing place. So whether it be a relationship, a job, a situation, whatever it is for you, something... And you may be wondering about it because you see the fortune cookie there, like you're not sure what to do. Maybe you're needing guidance about a situation. And then we have the um, chessboard there. So you maybe feel like maybe somebody's playing games around you or something. But I do see like a window of opportunity there also. So I don't know, let's see what's going on. Let's get your current energy. Wow. Let's get... I'm feeling this one right here. Let's get your energy at this time. So we have higher power. And that just was underneath this card. That is so weird. It was underneath this card, and I put it back in the deck. And now here it is. That is so weird. So we have four there, which is about stability, uh, foundation, the basis of something here. But we have higher power. So something here may be beyond your control. Um, I don't know. Let's read a little bit about... Um, this card, conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. So that's all about, you know, maybe you're getting connected to spirit, to source, that kind of energy, becoming more spiritual. Maybe it's your religion that you, or your way of being, your way of thinking, the, your way of believing all your life, and now you're feeling, okay, that I, ideal that idea I had in my head of what religion or whatever is supposed to be like now you're feeling like well it's not for me anymore and maybe you're on a new spiritual path I don't know it may be a message for some so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck message in a bottle 15 so again with the six which is about healing balance energy so message in a bottle there could be a message coming in or you may be wanting to send a message out to somebody so let's see um what that has to say it's a little quick communication a sign and you could be resign uh receiving signs from spirit here it could be in numbers songs letters words um animals all kind of things clouds I and mean, you could be anything here 
uh, a cledon, an ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. Okay, pointing the way to your highest good. Hmm. Maybe that's why you're watching this reading. I don't know. All right, so let's get uh, more clarification here with the tarot. And this is a new tarot deck, which was gifted to me. Somebody sent this to me. So um, her name is Chelsea. So I want to give a shout out to her. Thank you. Thank you. And this is called the Wheel of the Year Tarot. And it's so funny. I chose this deck for your reading. And then I realized, Sagittarius, you are the Wheel of Fortune in the um, tarot deck. And this is the Wheel of the Year for, uh, Tarot. So I'm like, well, that's quite a coincidence there. So this is probably meant to be... A deck for your reading at this time so okay so let's clarify this energy what's going on with you Sagittarius what is going on with you at this time Sagittarius why is wow okay so we got that one let's get another one I haven't been getting a lot of flyers lately so I've been taking from the top so I'm kind of shocked that that just kind of flew out of nowhere so I'm feeling that one. Oh, is my deck upside down? No. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles in reversed. So something, yeah, something does not feel stable to you. Because the Queen of Pentacles upright is all about security, stability, and that kind of energy. And then we have here the Ten of Pentacles, which is about um, total fulfillment. I just picked it up and it was in reverse too. So I think I'm going to keep it that way. So we have two cards here. We're not feeling stable. You know, Ten of Pentacles is usually um, the marriage card. Um, but it's in reverse. So something, in, uh, something here definitely is not fulfilling anymore. It's not stable anymore. Um, or you're not feeling that way. So it could you could be you're not feeling that way about a situation. It could have to do with your uh, family or your home. All right, so what do we have? Yeah, the five of pentacles. Wow, a lot of pentacle energy here. Oh, this could be a work or career situation. Five of pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. The emperor, so taking control, taking the lead, taking charge of a situation. Five of swords energy here. So this is an energy of like... Uh, Feeling defeated or, de you know, defeating at all costs or feeling defeated. Could go either way. We got two fives here. So fives are about change. So big change here. But if you add that together, that's ten, which is an ending, and then one is a new beginning. So let's clarify. I feel like here you're finally, um, you, ha you I feel like you're having that higher power about yourself, about your life, your situation, whether it's career or family or a relationship and I feel like you're finally feeling your higher power and now taking control of a situation because um two fives here and they're not very good it's not very good energy so and those two pentacles in reverse of not being stable so we have the ten of cups energy so this is you know total fulfillment happiness and joy in, uh, a family life so it may have been a very happy family at one time. So you got the children, you got the pets. But now, um, I feel like, wow. All right, so let's take this right here. So now we have the Knight of Swords. So this is rushing, rushing in, rushing out. It could be rushing out of a situation. <laughs> a lot of swords, you know, about uh, that, you know, mental thoughts but the knight of swords rushes forward very uh, swiftly quickly takes action very fast kind of rushes sometimes can be reckless kind of energy i feel like it could be it could be work or it could be whatever your situation is whether it's career family i feel like it was a happy situation at one time but now there's like no more stability there's no more growth there's no more expansion this sadness, isolation, loneliness, neglect, and wanting, like, I feel like just wanting out of the situation. So you could be just rushing in to saying, I want out, or just rushing out of the situation. And finally feeling your higher power, because we have higher power here with the emperor. So feeling your higher power and uh, 
So let's get a couple more and just taking control of this. So let's see, let's get a couple more to clarify this situation. For you, Sagittarius, what's going on here? The strength energy here. So, you know, using all your strength, your willpower, your determination. In the nine of wands. So not giving up on something, though. Not giving up, fighting, keep fighting, persevering on. And it's taking all your strength here. It's taking all your strength. I feel to let go of something or to get, to get past something, to get in your... Um, like your emperor energy. Hmm. So, well, what is this now? So these just fell in reverse. So we have the star and the king of pentacles in reverse. So we got the king and queen of pentacles in reverse, which is a couple. Could have been a soulmate couple at one time, but now it's in reverse, so I feel like it's not anymore. Or it could have, been, could have been a soulmate at one time, but now it's like, okay, I've learned my lessons, you know, uh, and now it's maybe coming to an end. Because we do have the star here, but it's in reverse, so it's kind of like a delay in healing. Because um, the star is about healing, divinely guided energy, something meant to be, you know, wishes and dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism. I feel like you lost... I feel like you lost faith in a situation because with the king and queen in reverse here um, and that in reverse, there's no more faith or hope in the situation. You know, maybe you tried healing this over and over and over again and it just, it's like giving up on a situation here. It could be a career, it could be um, relationship. It's like you fought, you fought, you fought the battle, you tried and tried. It took all your strength here with the strength card there. And I feel like now it's like, you know what, just going to move on here. Because you do have two fives there, which is about an ending. And we do have two tens. Ten in reverse here, but a ten up right there. So, all right. So let's see what your advice is here. So we have the three of cups. So this is happiness and joy and celebrating with for your, for your advice along with the queen of wands which is your energy king or queen doesn't matter you just want your happiness and joy you just want to be in your power you just want to be who you are um be able to be who you are what you are free to do what you want you know fiery passionate you know just what you want to do in life maybe it's just going out having a good time with friends here whatever here just you know being happy and joyous and celebrating I feel like you want to get past this energy. Whatever you were stuck in, I feel like you're stuck in something. And you tried and tried and tried with soulmate here. But with that star in reverse, it was just like, it just couldn't be healed. There was just no more faith, hope, and optimism about the situation. So with that emperor right in the middle, you know, now I think you're just in your higher power now, just taking control. And you see this man here, it just shows him like leaving. And the knight of swords just like got that sword up ready to cut away all this energy. I think it's been a long, hard battle, struggle, fight. You know, it could have been a happy family at one time or a situation or if it's work, like a happy work family. But now, you know, there's like no more growth expansion in that. So whatever your situation is for you. So let's see what your possible outcome will this be. Will you let go of this and move on? Will you stay stuck? Sagittarius. Eight of Pentacles. So that's working, working hard. On your future on your work that could be work some of you it could be your career working hard here mastering your craft seven of swords so that's deceitful sneaky energy let's get one more your possible outcome here knight of pentacle energy so moving forward you know very slowly i think you're going to move away from this situation it could there could have been lies deceit sneaky energy here. Maybe you feel like you need to sneak away from this situation sometimes. Um, maybe you just kind of sneak out, get away on your own and go out and have a few drinks just to get away from it, whatever it is here. But I feel like, I feel like you're working hard on your life, on yourself, um, making smart, practical uh, plans for the future. It's a slow going. I feel like it's slow going, but you're, you're working hard here too. I think, think you're releasing something 
and you're realizing because you are realizing it's not for you anymore but we have this message in the bottle so i mean this could be you know just communication saying look you know i know now this like this situation just is not for me anymore and you know i want out or um you could have could have communication coming in the knight of pentacles could be another job offer or maybe you're wanting to communicate to somebody else i mean how well that resonates for you so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the nine of swords so stress worry fear anxiety not sure what's going to happen maybe not sleeping at night the moon so yeah not sure where things are going to go how things are going to plan out work out Again, can be with the illusions and secrets and deceit kind of energy with the Seven of Swords. So there could have been that kind of energy in your situation here. And I don't know how I got reversals here, but now we have the, uh, oh no, it's not reverse, the hangman. So just confused me because he's hanging upside down. I thought it was reverse. So the hangman here, yeah. So things on a pause, on a break, you know, gain perspective on your whole situation, uh, looking things over carefully. Deciding for the future, Seven of Cups energy, you know, how can I transform my life with this butterfly here? Um, what decisions do I need to make? Looking at your options, weighing your pros and cons, evaluating things. And now we have the Princess of Swords. So this is the Page of Swords. So this is about, you know, maybe you're spying some on someone online or keeping tabs on somebody or this person. Maybe you're looking for another job, you know, online, could be learning new things online also. But this is truthful, honest, open communication kind of energy. And then moving forward very passionately with the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, the world here closing out old cycles, starting new cycles. So I definitely feel like here you're in the process of closing something out here and getting ready for a new uh, cycle, which I had got that in one of your readings previously, wanting to move forward, a lot of passion, uh, passion drive, and ambition. Um, could be learning new things online or keeping tabs on something or someone uh, online. But here's, you know, I feel with the night here rushing in with truthful, honest communication, feeling a little bit confused or just, you know, weighing out your options, pros and cons kind of energy, look, gaining perspective from an, every angle. Feel like there could have been some deceptive energy secrets or something like that maybe came to light in the past. But you're a little stressed over this whole situation, how it's going to work out, how it's going to pan out, how things are going to go in the future. So for the signs here, we have Earth, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Leo, Sag, Aries, your energy. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces. Cancer, Pisces. And then we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, Leo. Let's see here. Aquarius. Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, I mean, a lot of signs here. So, I mean, however that resonates for you. So, Sagittarius, let's get some closing messages for you. I definitely feel like you're trying to close out a cycle that you feel like is no longer for you. Um, and wanting to just go like full steam ahead in a new life, a new way of living, like really coming into your power now, realizing what you need to do, what you have to do moving forward for the future. Um, again, I think this communication here could be the Gemini energy because Gemini does represent uh, Mercury, which the planet Mercury, which is all about the mind uh, communication and that kind of energy. Or, you know, you can have it in your chart, however uh, it resonates for you. But I feel like you will be going to a better place, regaining your stability, because we have two sixes here and a four. So, you know, regaining your stability and going into a much more healing, balanced place for the future. All right, so let's get some closing messages for you here, Sagittarius. And I think with the Knight of Pentacles energy there, you know, you're just making very careful um practical decisions moving forward being very smart and analytical taking your time i think whatever situation you're in i think you're very hard trying very hard to get out of that as quickly as possible but yet also being very smart and analytical and practical and taking a slow approach to your future whatever it may be for you you know if it's i don't know going back to school and learning something new or starting a new career 
or in a relationship or just going solo on your own. You're just uh, being very smart and practical moving forward. So let's get some deck, uh, messages with this deck. So I do have Sagittarius. If you like my style, how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. I do four readings a month. I do a uh, general tarot forecast. I do a love connection. I do singles who's coming towards you. I do messages from spirits or I switch it up and do maybe an angel card reading or something like that. I do a weekly element energy check-in. So if you're interested in, in all that, don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Whether you subscribed or sent a gift like this deck here or donated or reached out for personal reading, it's truly, truly appreciated. So there's your first message. Looking deeper, deep within me is a majestic radiance. Again, and I feel that coming into your higher power and this emperor energy, realizing your self-value, your worth, and uh, really knowing who you are now. That you are, look at all the gems here, that you are a gem. Wow, and you do have majestic radiance. Wow, okay. So what else do we have for Sagittarius here? Embarking on an adventure, I savor the wonders of the world. So I do feel like you're going on a new adventure. I feel like you're leaving one, one situation cycle here and getting ready for the next chapter in your life. And I feel like, and I said you want it to take off already, <laughs> that hot air balloon there. But uh, you know you have to take a smart, practical approach. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. So again, with the higher power there with that spiritual, spiritually guided energy, listening to your gut, your intuition. And then again, it could be those messages, you know, messages from spirit that you're receiving in some way. All right, so let's see. We have flying free. I unfurl my wings and fly. So exactly, you wanted, you're wanting freedom. That's what you want. You want your freedom. I feel like you've been tied down in a situation that has not been serving you for a very long time as in not for you. And now finally, finally realizing there's no more faith, hope, or healing in a situation. Um, there's no more stability in a situation. Because these soulmates are in reverse. So it's, I feel like, not a good situation. So you're working hard to break free from that and start a new life for yourself. Wow, Sagittarius, good for you. So good luck to you, Sagittarius, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.